let's start with one really famous and amazing platform which is called hugging face now think about hugging face as the github for open source llm models the huge llm models we host here we run here we try it out here and that's what we are going to do in this moment first of all once you are logging into the hugging face then you can search your model in our case i'm going to search for flux realism model so here we go and uh, once you are here then you can see here we have inference api this says it's warm that means it's loaded on the serverless inference api and ready to use you just need to write a basic prompt hit compute and it's going to generate the image in 15 to 20 seconds so let's hit this prompt which basically says a poor man sitting on the roadside looking at the camera with white beard and gray hair so gray hair like this now let's hit compute and wait for this to complete because this as i said take 15 to 20 second to complete okay here we are in just 17.434 second we are having this really nice detailed realistic image a poor man sitting on the road you can see the jacket is really great the beard and also you can see if you look into the hand there are the veins which is so realistic that you cannot say it's an image generated by ai okay so the image quality or image description is really important in every flux model you say basically the prompt you are providing should be great so what we can do we can go to the chat gpt and we can say to the chat gpt that improve my prompt for better quality realistic high contrast image that can generate from flux lora model i need the image to be close to reality every small bit should be uh, visible properly and just provide the prompt and now this is the prompt i have given which i just used and now i'm going to enhance the prompt with chat gpt once we have the prompt we can just copy this here and go to the hugging face once again and paste it and hit compute this time let's see what it come up with okay here we are with another new image which is yes uh, kind of detailed and this is having a nice wrinkled and it actually blend with the face and everything is a bit really amazing the problem i feel is the the skin quality is a little bit shinier which should not be the case but at least we are getting the realistic image but Finally, I want to try a very crazy idea and this is basically what I'm saying is create a human and animal merge and create something which is not really exist in the real world. Let's see what this come up with. So here we are with a cat and a human combination with a humanoid because it says somewhere it should be humanoid. A cybernetic actually, cybernetic eyes kind of glowing. Uh, sleek form of panther so it looks like a panther with the combination of human so i'm going to use all these things and generate image in every other platform but let me try one more which is generate a portrait that look like made up of hologram faces could be compressed of light beam and shifting colors semi-transparent ethical appearance all these things are obviously not re really exist in the real world and let's see how this come up with the generation and here we go with the image which is holographic human like semi transparent and whatever we have defined looks crazy crazy amazing now after this hugging face let's try another platform which is called glyph glyph provide you 20 per day limited to daily run which is you can generate 20 images for free and yes you can do that once you logged in you can get 20 credit i already used one and let's go let's go And now let's go to build part and once you go to the build you just say start building with glyph block click on that then you need to choose the image generation once you have the image generation let's try with our prompt so here is the portrait one which we have just used last one and then we can use the flux 
pro and then you select the image size and after that you can provide some advanced prompt uh, pro prompt power should be a little lesser and then once everything is done then click on the run this glyph now what I'm going to do while this is running, let's move to the another uh, platform, which is called SegMind. Now SegMind is another new platform where you can try it out the model. Obviously it will provide some credit once again, but you can try it out at least for free. Once you are logged in, then you can click on the models and on this model, just search for Flux Realism and here we go. Here is the flux realism and this is a sample image created and it's given with a proper prompt. Now let's try the same prompt here and this time I'm going to use 20, uh, not 20, let's say 50 step to have a better quality image. Then aspect ratio, LoRa strength and advanced thing and try to have everything as it is and click on generate. Now while this is generating, let's try no, let's go to the glyph and see, wow, I think this image is better than the hugging face, which is this one. What do you think? Because uh, this one is having a realism of human touch with a holographic effect. So this is what I like, but it's personal stuff. So you can obviously see how it performs. But what about this uh, Sigmind? Okay, so here we are with the segments and in the segment you can see this is also having this uh, amazing kind of uh, image, but I don't like this one. The real image I like is uh, from the glyph. Okay, let's move and try another platform, which is obviously not at all free. You need to provide some credit it and it is called replicate replicate is really famous and if you want me to create a training of flux lora flux lora with image of myself and then generating other image let me know in the comment section and i get i can and i can buy a time to just say to that and also, if you are liking this video till now, just hit subscribe button, which is very important. And also hit like button so that this video can move to other people. And let's move to the replicate. Once you are on the replicate, once again, search for flux realism, or you can just search for flux LoRa also. Here is the same XLab AI, which we found on our, uh, hugging face but this time let's see how this performs here with uh, the prompt we are providing so let's see what should be the prompt and yeah it's the same prompt of portrait and while this is generating let's move to the final and great platform which is called file.ai once you log in you will get one dollar credit to generate the images i have already used some to create the image and now what you do just go to the home and you can go to the uh, model gallery. Now just click on the model gallery and here from this model gallery, you can find the Flux LoRa Realism and click on this uh, Flux LoRa Realism. And then you can also try the same here on this uh, FAL AI. So see this one from the replicate is the best in my opinion for now this is having very detailed one on near the nose and near the uh, lips and this is really really powerful and let's see how this uh, fall ai fall ai is quick but not at all coming up to the mark this is more of a plastic look on the on the skin and that's what make it uh, lower at this moment but not worries we have more prompt to try so let's try here with the prompt of uh, a poor man sitting so i compute here and poor man sitting here let's uh, run this poor man sitting here let's run this also poor man sitting here and run this and finally on the flux run this okay that's going to create the images for now and then we will going to compare on each of these platform so 
first of all i think flux is coming up with the image you can see this is a similar kind of image but the face looks different there is no jacket and quality is not that good in my case so maybe i should play around with this additional setting to have a better quality but till now i don't think this is giving me a good quality anyways let's go to the realism and real uh, replicate actually replicate is giving really amazing image i am glad that this is so crazy image and uh, i like this one till now it's good one now what about this uh, segmind segmind is uh, giving another good image it's uh, kind of a uh, good where we have the skin with different tone and uh, that's looking good and you can see the feet is also nice with a slipper here and now it merges into the slab at the bottom that's bad and we have some bricks at the back side of this person cool this is also good one and uh, let's try glyph glyph is not bad this is not good so glyph is coming up with the skin which is sharp too sharp i don't like this maybe i can play around again with some of the ticks and we already know about this hugging face okay so poor man check is good now let's try something else something else for the humanite thing which we have created so realistic no a person playing c guitar oh this one is good let's try this person uh, playing uh, c chord on the guitar i want to improve this so let's improve it enhance the quality i want to improve this prompt so let's go and here's the prompt so let's improve this prompt now and uh, let's see what we get we get the prompt copy it paste it here hit run paste it here hit run paste it here hit again generate this time and on the cliff and finally on the hugging face also flux is really really fast you can see while i'm just pasting the prompt on other platform it come up with the result okay so obviously this is not at all c chord and where is other fingers it's just showing three fingers and uh, this one is blurred which i don't like so flux with fal ai is not at all good hmm here this replicate is coming up with a nice version but it's still it is uh, not at all c chord or maybe it could be a uh, one two three no this is not a c chord and uh, but at least it's giving five fingers which is really really nice and what about this one so segment is exactly similar to the uh, fal ai and this is the same which is uh, uh, two zooms i don't like this and here it it's good this is more closer to the c chord if just one fret ahead it can become a c chord maybe two fret ahead and this is good 1 2 3 4 four and one is thumb thumb is not that good <laughs> but at least it's good uh, in the case okay this is also looking at the flux and uh, fal ai and the segment Cool. So all these platforms are good enough to create realistic images of people, and yes, we can have that. Finally, I want to create another prompt which is like uh, Superman flying over city, having having a bunny at his head. Okay. So this is kind of. crazy crazy thing i am going to try and let's see how this is come up with so high detailed uh, high quality detail whatever it is uh, highly detailed highly detailed okay i will try on uh, on let's say on this glyph one and on realism only so these two platform because i love these two platforms which i think going to create the image good enough uh segmind fal.ai and uh, hugging face are creating image exactly similar every time so see this 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 and this almost similar okay 
so this time yep here we have the superman with the bunny at his head and here is this one which is another great one <laughs> okay so uh, let me know in the comment section if you know any other platform where we can play around with the flux model and if you know any one and let me know in the comment section which image you have created send me the link if you are on the replicate then you can download share and share it with me on social media platform you can find me anywhere at sarthak savvy just hit it and uh, share me tag me and you can also check out all these things all the links in the description so if you like these kind of video don't forget to hit like button that's how this video can reach to more people and if you want me to create more content on ai ml and these kind of things subscribe to this channel that give me motivation to create more content like this see you in the next video till then goodbye